Our towns cannot afford to lose $200,000 in subsidies caused by a lack of management, oversight, and leadership within the school district. The failure to disclose in a timely manner the loss of subsidy is um, egregious behavior. As a higher administrator, we have placed our trust in Mark Denkins and his ability to have our schools, our towns, and children's best interest as a primary focus. It is clear the failed communication explaining the severity of the school board and town officials has caused the citizens concern and to question what else has not been addressed here. We have fairly regular contact with the different parts of the department, whether it's the special ed board and finance and the audit. We filed for, I think, two audit extensions that were accepted. They had the rationale and reasons for why we were in this position, and they granted a monthly extension. Sometimes the different pieces we're talking about don't fit together necessarily on the other end. But no, we were in contact with these people. They still had to notify us and write these letters and so forth. We understand that. But right, but did you ask for uh, assistance in how you could get these things expedited? Well, we did, and they did assist, assist us a great deal insofar as they can, but most everything, and maybe Ron could collaborate also, has to be done from our end up. They can sort of sit there on the telephone and point in the right direction and answer questions, but it came down to the same set of problems and circumstances we were in since the end of last May. I will speak for myself. I did not know that reports had not been filed until April the 3rd, uh, Friday afternoon, when I was notified by the office of the Stonington Town Manager, Kathleen Billings, and Selectman uh, Evelyn Duncan, at which time I became cognizant that we had been out of compliance on the filing reports since August 20th. And we just did not know, I did not know, and if other board members have a different version for their own experience on that, I became aware of this because of the town office in Stonington. From my experience, uh, what Mark said was correct, uh, that he uh, kept us surprised of the fact that he was having problems. Who does? Everybody? The board, the, the CSD board. Okay. Uh, I, it may have been, uh, I think probably, uh, I don't remember specifically, the conversation probably took place uh, at the union board meeting. Now, Stephen was not at the union board meeting in December. Uh, but we were aware of the fact that uh, he was having problems with the financial person he had hired. Uh, I don't think he, what he said is that he did not tell us about the specifics. Specific. Yeah. <laughs> Spec specific. Specific. Uh, will be missed, you know, and the seriousness of it. Uh, so it was very general, but I, I think he has talked with the board several times about that. Uh, but again, uh, we were not made aware of uh, the fact that these were serious deadlines and that they had any type of uh, potential consequences that we're facing now. Did those discussions reflect in your minutes of those meetings? Mr. Chair, they're not in the minutes because we never had a discussion about missed deadlines. The minutes, if you go back for the last year, do not reflect <coughs> that missed deadlines were occurring. It is true that we knew there was a personnel issue in the office. That is not uncommon in management. We, I trusted, we trusted that the superintendent was handling that.